Ever wonder what would have happened if Spidey kept wearing the Venom symbiote? In this universe, Spidey uses the symbiote's rage to brutally beat down the Hobgoblin and decides to keep the costume even when Reed Richards tells him it's an alien. The Hobgoblin then attacks Peter at Aunt May's house to get revenge. May's house is lit on fire during the battle, but the symbiote stops Peter from entering because it's sensitive to fire and May dies. Spidey then murders the Hobgoblin. The symbiote is in control now. J. Jonah Jameson seeing Spider-Man act as the menace he always thought he was lures Spidey to a remote location where he lies in wait inside of a spider slayer outfit with other villains to defeat Spidey. But Spider-Man gets the jump on them and kills Mysterio, Electro, and Rhino before Jameson holds him up to a fire and the symbiote leaves him. Realizing it's Peter Parker, Jonah drives him back to the city, but the symbiote follows them and takes control of Reed Richards and the Thing. Spidey and the Human Torch defeat the symbiote by using an image inducer to trick it into bonding with the Torch who then flames on, but Reed is killed in the process. Sue Storm then offers a remorseful Peter a spot on the team as one of the Fantastic Four.